Hello, my name is Emma and I live and travel full time out of my 2015 Kia Sedona. Absolutely, here is the vibe. Minivan campers are the way to go and you cannot convince me otherwise. But anyway, today is a very, very special day because we're going to have a special guest on the channel. I have been following this person since February of this year and today I finally get to meet him and we're gonna do some cool stuff in the area over the next couple days, so stay tuned. <laughs> Look at his coffee mug. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> Dang, dude. I think it's percolating, huh? It wants to. It's stepped <laughs> up on the percolate, but it wants to. Yeah, that coffee's hot. <laughs> I've been on them iced coffee lately. Oh, yeah. I've got ice cream. Here you go, man. Here you go. Oh, my God. Oh you want some more? Goodness. I don't know how much you like cheese, but you can put some on top if you want. This looks crazy good. Thank you so you much. You want some on top of her? This is <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this will get you to do a hike right here, man. Oh my god, yeah. Jesus. Thank you so much. Yeah, dude. Big Nugget made breakfast. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw what's on the menu. <laughs> yeah, we gotta like switch. <laughs> but we got like a little egg, sausage, rotel, cheese. I'm driving, you're not going? <laughs> we got big we got big nugget at the trailhead. <laughs> We're gonna do Mirror Lake. How are yeah, you feeling? This is my first hike ever. First first like real official hike. I've done like a little walk around Austin before, but I've never done anything serious. So I don't know. I got a lot of faith in Emma, so I hope she doesn't <laughs> kill me. I'm not too confident, but I got a lot of faith. It's gonna <laughs> you know be I mean? great. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Dude, I'm so pumped. He's right, he's over there. He's over there. I'm so pumped to have Big Nugget on the channel, dude. I've been following him for so long. It's so sick. It's so wild to be able to meet up with other creators that you enjoy. Oh my god. It's it's something wild that I never could have foreseen for myself. And we've been having a good time. Big Nugget made me breakfast this morning. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is gonna be sick. Like, 
After vibe checking at the lake, we decided to push for the summit, which was an additional two miles uphill. Hey, man. How you doing, Big Nugget? This is crazy. This is gorgeous. <laughs> I'm gonna get him hooked. <laughs> Here's the press. I'm, I'm already hooked. I told her we gotta plan some more hikes. Huckleberry hour. Huckleberry hour. Oh. <laughs> Did great. Look, had another bottle of water. I ran through all mine. I don't even know how much was in here. At least a liter and a half. Hell yeah. And I didn't know I drank it all until we were like 80% done. I said, well, there's no going back now. No going back now. Victory! First hike! First like official real hike ever. We were still feeling pretty good, so we decided to traverse the additional half mile ridge to the true summit of Tom, Dick, and Harry, which you can see in the center of the screen here. We made it safely, and if you look really closely, you can actually see the lake that we had just visited. I want to take a moment to congratulate Big Nugget for summiting his first mountain. This was a doozy of a first hike. It was about nine miles and almost 2,000 feet of elevation game, and he just handled it like an absolute pro, absolute champ behavior. We spent lots of time at the top having our little snacks, rehydrating, and just enjoying the view. But eventually it was time for our descent. Almost there. We got all the way up there to the top of that peak. Oh yeah. Nine miles down. <laughs> I've never been so excited to be there. Gonna get some burgers. <laughs> we have eaten and we are very tired. Oh my god. We're gonna head back to our little spot and then tomorrow we'll get to moving, but I'll leave that update and save it for y'all for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's a little caliente. Hey. I don't know how this shot turned out. You're on top of my car right now. Uh, we'll see. Bruh. Big nugget breakfast. Nah, dude, this stuff is good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna sit on my log. <laughs> Dude, my freaking legs are taking it. <laughs> and they really got worked out yesterday. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we've been hanging out for like a day, and I've given you no details. So, this is it's, Big Nugget. It's Big Nugget. What's up, <laughs> guys? How long have you been on the road? All right. So, uh, originally, I started on the road back in, like, January 1st is the day I was calling it. Technically, it was like mid-December, but January 1st. I actually had a truck camper, like a 2018 Silverado converted to a truck. And uh, I started out, I was in Arizona, and then uh, I was gonna work my way up to the PNW back during the spring. Long story short, we're in, we're like a day away from September. 
and I'm just now getting here like a couple days ago. So uh, finally we're here. But anyway, uh, January 1st I started. Now this makes about like nine months total kind of. But as you see, this is not a 2018 Silverado. So in that time period, um, I swapped over to this van and it took me about three months total to like a month to find it, a month to build like and then like two months to build it and get back on the road. <coughs> so technically I've only been on the road for like um, five months, five, six months. Sounds about right. Huh? Very cool. Man. What what kind of van are you rocking with? What's the make okay. and model? It's a 1993 Chevy G20. And it's got some cool hiccups. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this this van was a different color, and this was a different color. This independent piece, the hood was a different color. One of the back doors was a different color. But anyway, long story short, now we got it all dressed up nice and cool, in my opinion. White roof. If you see white, trust me, this is light blue. And then we got like a little sandy, some uh, beauty rings. Depend on your age, you might be familiar with it. But um. If you come check out my driver door, this is how we access, that's how we pretty much get in and out or out. We've got no other than the one and only vice grips. Now this obviously is a multifunctioning tool that you can do anything with. So yeah, we got that. I got the um, original like old school interior. The seats are super, super comfortable. I almost fall asleep when I'm driving. <coughs> but this is just the cockpit. I didn't really worry about transforming that too much, so some slack. But, uh, <laughs> I love the red velvet. Nah, dude, it's, it's so cozy. This is a mirror. I mean, let's just disregard that. Let me get it down. <laughs> I know you're like exposing me holding the phone in your face. Okay, now this is what the morning looks like after we done cooked, ate, and I haven't done dishes and it's just a little messy. But we got the kitchenette area back here. I mean, that's kind of pretty simple. We got like a little silverware drawer where I can keep my... Uh, Regular, I guess, cookware or bowls and stuff. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and then we got all the stuff on top. I won't get too deep into that. But here's the other Kayak. side. Hey, y'all get this craziness right here. Super messy, like I said. He's got a couch. We got the cool curtain. We got the ice cold fridge. Yeah, we got Hell a fridge, yeah. curtain, uh, couch, little TV that comes down. Uh, good spot to chill. It feels pretty, like like homey it's got like a homey vibe i just chill on the futon typically sit in that one spot and just kind of look out the window or the doors wherever i parked at what's one of your favorite places that you visited so far um hmm. i'm not i'm not lying man like as i go like each new thing i see is probably the new coolest thing but i gotta say snow and flagstaff um they got some pink water in like north of salt lake city and then they got the bonneville salt flats those are really kind of some underrated like wonders of the world i don't really know what i would put like as one cool thing i mean it's just a lot of cool stuff um heck yeah st anthony sand dunes in idaho it's like it looks like the sahara desert over there it's, it's crazy the dunes are crazy what's the modification that you're most proud of with your setup the couch the yeah, couch, <laughs> couch. super chill i got a lava lamp in there too a lava lamp in there too, yeah, in there too? Yeah, dude yeah. kind of set the vibe make it real nice so how have you enjoyed our time I've had a lovely time. It's been so sick to have company. It's been so sick to have somebody to hike with. And it's been really cool to just share the experience with somebody because it's normally just a very solo endeavor. So, yeah, thank you so much. Nah, man, I don't know how this next video is going to reflect, but Emma is like a, if, if you don't know, she's a mega hiker. She doesn't like when I say that. But uh, Emma is an avid hiker and she does 18 to 20 miles every other day. That's not true. That's just the kind of person she is. <laughs> That's, that's the kind of person she is and hiking with her was super fun hanging out with her was super fun man she's super cool thank you now we just gotta put her on the spot and kind of you know yeah no i just interrogated you for like four yeah. minutes so now it's my turn <laughs> nah but we're out here man she picked this spot she had this spot kind of picked out and i just pulled up and i don't know exactly you know how much of it's gonna be recorded or how much has been but it's really a majestic magical feeling little landscape over here in oregon like when you think Oregon, this pretty much fits the script. Also like a mixed kind of Colorado vibe, but yeah, no, nah, it's been super cool, man. She didn't kill me on the hike. I was nervous coming over here. I was like, man, you know, mentally I'm committed to doing the trips, but physically like my shit and my health wise, I'm like, dude, am I going to be able to make it? I don't know. But uh, we did our nine mile yesterday and it was super fun. Uh, 
as soon as we finished and got like I got out and we was going to the little restaurant, man, my legs were like jelly. And then now I woke up. I'm kind of ready to do the other one. We got another one coming, so. Oh yeah, yeah, we got more plans. <laughs> oh, do you tell them that? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna I cut that just part. Like, we'll find out. <laughs> we're gonna cut it. <laughs> So it is about 11 now. We are going to head to a different trail, probably like an hour and a half, two hours south of here. And homeboy is behind me somewhere. It's gonna be so sick. Uh, he's been talking about this trail for a long time and I don't wanna to spoil too much. So I will show you when we get there. We have arrived at the trailhead. There's Nugget right there. Um, there was a $5 parking fee, and it's also like 20 degrees hotter here than it was in our previous place, even though we only drove like two hours south. So that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get busy on this hike. It's Big Nugget came up with the idea to ask each other an interview question every time we hit a waterfall, so we're going to do that. <laughs> Q&A's. Q&A's. What's your favorite dinosaur? Uh, probably a pterodactyl, only because like it doesn't sound how it's spelled. <laughs> and it confused me when I saw there was a P in the front. I said, dude, <laughs> question number uno. Question waterfall, number one. Waterfall one of 10, question one of 10. And she's starting off with a real tough one. So I don't know how this is gonna play out up <laughs> until the 10th fall. We did our first falls. <laughs> Man, I love this hiking stuff. I'm not lying. It's gonna be a sad day when Emma has to leave and I'm just stuck to hike the rest of the world by myself. Subscribe to Big Nuggets so he can get some <laughs> shoes. <laughs> some yeah, good gonna, hiking shoes. She wants me to get shoes so I could hike all my way to her. <laughs> but yeah, we're on the way to falls number two. We got eight more to go after that. Eight. Woo. <coughs> This is some of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life, man. Second pause, second question. What got you into van life? Um, I really, I wanted a lifestyle change and uh, just wanted to kind of switch up what I was doing, the regular, I guess the habits I had or lifestyle I had before. And uh, I want to do something that's a little, um, it slows down the clock a little bit and just kind of takes you back in time and lets you appreciate stuff like this. So it's great. Third fall, third question. I didn't know you were true like that. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Um, I'm from Louisiana, Lafayette, that's where I grew up, um, been in like 20, 2019, 2020, yeah, by 2020, I moved to Houston, now I lived there for about three and a half years, and then we started van life, and now I'm just all over the place, so I mean, I'm everywhere, they never there, you know what Hell I mean? Yeah. Fourth question. 
All right. What's the part of van life that you weren't expecting, but you ended up dealing with it? Um, uh, hmm. Probably public bathrooms. Public bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of just, I try to maintain or stay in the area where there is a bathroom. But if I'm not, I got a like little travel toilet and a little tent to kind of put the toilet in. It's a station, like a mobile bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, in our bathrooms, I really, you know, that's something you don't think about. Fifth question. If you were to have a dream vehicle for van life, what would you choose? Okay, that's actually a really good question. And it's, I really don't know. <laughs> for van life? Um, okay, I'll just name, I'll just name a couple that I like. They got those uh, forerunners. I think people, I think a forerunner decked out would be pretty cool. Um, maybe, I really like doing like a, a like a pickup truck, doing something cool with a pickup truck. Super like crazy and creative. Maybe put like a bed on the cab. I mean, or a um, like a little camper on the cab. Um, van wise, man, they got some crazy vans out there. The van I have now, same body style. Maybe a high roof, or you know, there's something that allow me to stand up. All right, sixth falls, sixth question. What would you recommend to somebody who's just starting van life? Um, you just starting? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. My recommend, really, my recommendation would have been for people that wants to get into it. I would have said to start. So I mean, if you already started, I mean, my <laughs> recommendation just keep going. Hell yeah. You know, and find whatever you're looking for. Okay. What about people who are getting into it? Like, haven't started officially. Haven't started. Oh yeah, I mean, if you're uh, for anybody that uh, wonders, like, man, how will it work out? I'm kind of nervous. Man, it is just as fun as you like. <laughs> Whatever you imagine, it's, it's really how it is. It's awesome. Uh, people's like, yeah, nobody shows the bad side of band life. Well, honestly, based on perspective, mine, I don't really. There's not really a lot of bad about band life. Like, uh, you just kind of got to make some sacrifices, but. I mean, as long as you could do that, I mean, you could enjoy scenes like this or traveling wherever you want to go. And I don't know, that's about it. I'll just, uh, if you want to get into it, just go ahead and push the button. If you're already in it, you're already on a good path. Seven falls, seven questions. If you were to upgrade your rig or if you were to add anything on, what would it be? Um, possibly solar, um, debatably like a enclosed trailer to pull behind. Um, that's probably like my two biggest things. Uh, yeah, yeah, either an either something to pull behind to give me more space or put solar panels on top. Solid answers. Solid yeah, yeah, yeah. answers from put? Big Nugget. Oh God, I don't know. Probably battery system in the fridge. A fridge, if I could find a fridge that was small enough. Careful. Skunk, our homie is. It's just running around so slow. You do not care, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Homie's feeling reckless. <laughs> He's moving faster than us. My God. <laughs> Nugget does not fear death. <laughs> death by stink. Hmm. Homie is just using the path. No, he didn't take the safety off. He did take the safety off. At one point, it looked like he was going to spray us. We were like trying to follow behind at like 50 to 100 feet. <laughs> because I really don't. I think it's at like at least 30 to 70 feet, depending on how the wind is. So I really don't know. I'm going to have to look it up later when I have cell service. But like he's just using the path and we're having a hard time getting by him. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. We made a buddy though. We did make a buddy. 
a lifelong companion. This is better than Portland traffic, though, to be honest. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> oh, my God. Big Nugget, how was your first wildlife encounter? <laughs> I, tried, I tried to let the skunks breathe the people coming down, but Emma wasn't with it. I was not with that. I was not going to let you let that happen. <laughs> All right, eighth ball, eighth question. All right. What's your favorite part about hiking so far? Uh, you know, you I don't know. I didn't expect there to be so many like switch ups in the scenery. Like you can kind of start and it look like something, and then like a mile or two in. Case in point, yesterday, and then we hiked up two miles, and then lake we got Alpine Lake. Then we hiked up the, to the top of like the next two miles. And like the next mile up was a certain kind of scene and terrain and then like it switched up like five times on us so i think uh like you don't know really what what you're gonna see once you start but uh it's crazy like how the trail will transform i mean i can't say it enough this is i really enjoy this i can't really compare this to yesterday's and pick like a favorite because they both have their yeah. own like their own beauty separate vibes yeah yeah, yeah. but now i'm really enjoying this and i like how you it's kind of unpredictable what it's going to look like along the way what's your least favorite part about hiking so far um probably man i don't necessarily want to say downhill man but <laughs> that descent really works on your knees yeah <laughs> you know what i mean so oh, yeah i'm heavy i gotta get my weight down to kind of handle that better but uh i mean i love it honestly i love it so i mean i wouldn't even say there's something i hate for real we got, yeah. i gotta do some more for sure hell yeah if you want to see big nuggets perspective with a better camera and an actual microphone <laughs> go check out his channel and you'll actually be able to hear us Everybody, yeah, everybody talks about, All right, ninth falls, ninth question, big nugget. What's one big takeaway that you've had from van life? Uh, big takeaway, uh, it just really, I feel like I really appreciate things a lot more. Not that I feel like you need van life per se to do that, but it's kind of been my outlet to uh, to really like up my gratitude and appreciation and uh, really just be a lot, a lot less selfish, you know, worry about other people's like, or care about other people a little more, man and just uh, not worry about just my own needs all the time. We are damn near cutting it close to dark, but we are gonna finish before that sun goes down. You know what? <laughs> I'm kinda ready. Yeah, me too. It's <laughs> been a while. I'm ready. It's been so gorgeous, oh my God. All right, dog, so you can't actually see the waterfall, but it's there. All right, Big Nugget, it is nighttime. Uh -huh. We're at our 10th fall. Finally done. Tenth question: Are there any goals that you have for your channel moving forward? Um, hmm. I would like to meet more people, man. Uh, a personal goal of mine is to kind of like get more involved with people in the community. Uh, other than that, just kind of keep doing what I'm doing, growing as I grow. Don't want to grow too fast. Want to grow at a appropriate pace. And uh, yeah, man, just meet more y'all out there. And uh, if you want to do a collab, man, come hit your boy up. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's been real big nugget. <laughs> We're out hiking in the dark now. Yeah, I don't know how Emma closes her videos out, but it's big nugget over here. It's big nugget over here. <laughs> how many uh how many miles did we do? Total, total miles. Oh god, probably like eight and a half. It's probably it's been way more than oh, seven and a too. half. Oh god, sixteen. Yeah, we probably did like 16, 17 miles. I never hiked I never did a real hike before. 
Hell yeah. And two days we did like 16, 17 miles. We threw him in the deep end and he did absolutely excellent. Go check out his channel. <laughs> hey, I'm going uh, I'm going to rest now. Like after we're done here, I'm gonna go chill. <laughs> and then tomorrow I'm not doing anything. Well, yeah, go check out his Big Nugget on YouTube and Instagram and check out his Patreon. And thank you so much for being here. Please stay safe. Take care. Don't hike in the dark. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>